Hello, everybody. That was a little lackluster. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that again. Hello, everybody. How the hell are you doing? I don't care. Okay, um, that was fucking ridiculous. All right, Jesus fucking Christ. I think I'm going to start doing a series. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna call it or whatever, but um, th this might shock you, but I've been getting um, emails from people that are uh, A, a bit lengthy, and B, almost biting at me. So I figured I would do these videos where I answer questions. Because one thing I have learned through years and years of doing all the stupid shit I do is that if one person is ballsy enough to ask a question, that means that there's like anywhere from 10 to 100 people who have thought the question, but were afraid to ask it. So here, here we go. Um, this email is from Jacob. Hello, Jacob. Yeah, I'll just Jacob, like, because we never talked about this. So I don't want to throw him under the bus here. Okay, so this is his email. Okay, I'll, I'll read the important, well, the the parts of the email that matter to this. You keep pushing your damn workshop. <laughs> You keep pushing your damn workshop. Why? I thought you were a believer that workshops are stupid. Even Bukowski didn't like workshops. And since you're such a fan of his, I find it strange that you would even push it or even have one yourself. And, and there was a number three in self in the typing. Um, and then he goes on, uh, not to be rude, I've been watching you for a long time, but even when you first started this, I have wondered that. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that this he's referring to is the Poetic Anarchy course back when I first started doing it. Okay, <clears throat> here is the thing. I do think workshops are stupid. And that's going to sound weird since I'm trying to get all of you guys to go to at least the um, free workshop thing on Monday. The thing at um, the Sims Library of Poetry, the Poetic Anarchy Crash Course. The thing is, is this. What I don't understand about poetry workshops. Writing workshops are a little different, but I still feel the same way about them. But like a specific poetry workshop, this is the problem I have. A lot of poets don't know when their poem is done. Like they don't know when the poem's done. And they're like, how do you know? Like, you just keep tweaking it. You just keep tweaking it. And you don't know until it's... And, 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 it, it, blah, blah. and they say whatever the fuck they say. And so they take their poem to a workshop. And they read their poem out. And then people tell them things like... And this is how a traditional workshop runs. You, you read your poem. And then the group of people tell you what they think you should do with your poem to make it better. And then you do these things if you, and here's the thing that's funny about it. You do these things if you like them. So some advice you get, you're not going to like, so you're not going to take it. But other advice you get, you will take. And sometimes, especially in poetry circles, depending on who's giving you that advice, like if the person giving you the advice is like a legit motherfucker that you really think is amazing, like people will do what that person says because of the clout that that person has. But the problem with this is, even after you do all this shit and you publish your poem and someone like me reads your poem, and I go, oh, this line's stupid. I would have done this different. Oh, this. So at the end of the day, you're still going through a poem and saying, like, this isn't good. This isn't good. I would change that. So if this whole reason for workshopping is to read your poems to people to figure out how to make them better, and then you start taking those things and putting them into your poem, but other people read your poem and still think you could do things different, what was the point of fucking doing the thing in the first place? 
The second thing about this that I don't like is when you go to a workshop and you start having people tell you what to do to your poem, you are eliminating your voice from the poem and you're starting to put in other people's voices. You're starting to put in other people's input. So this poem that came from inside you, that came from deep in your fucking soul and your heart, starts getting reworked and reshaped by other people to the point that when your poem actually comes out on paper, it's a fucking camel. Like a horse built by committee of a bunch of poetic type things and I think that's why a lot of um, I don't know if contemporary is the right word but a lot of um, popular or academic type poetry all sounds the fucking same because all of these people who do workshops and do all this shit do all of these things and mold and do all this stuff to water everything down until it's like what a poem is supposed to look like. This is why I think Bukowski didn't like workshops. And I think that's a very fucking valid argument. The difference in what I do in these things is that I, I don't tell you how to change your poem. I don't tell you what you should or should not do. I tell you to trust yourself, trust your pin, cut your fucking wrists, bleed out on the fucking page, and talk about ways to do that to where you feel good about the stuff that you're putting out. That's the difference. And the reason why it's called a workshop is because that's what the thing is called. It's called a workshop because... That is the term that people are comfortable with when they hear. And it, honestly, especially with poets, it might just be alliteration. Oh, a writing workshop. I like the way that rolls off my tongue. But the whole idea here is, is getting you to break down the walls that you have put up in your own mind and fucking soul to get you to the next part to get you to do the thing and I'm very good at getting people to break their shit down and do their thing and since I've been able to do that with so many people I figure that's something I can fucking do and if you want to take the course I fucking would love to have you Jacob if you don't want to take the course then suck a dick I don't care but I'm telling you right now if you did the course, you would like it. You would feel good about what you did in that course. I've never had anyone take the course or even take like, um, like a one day thing with me and be upset that they fucking did it. I've never had anyone like, oh, that wasn't worth it. It's fucking worth it. And if you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, whatever. Who fucking cares? But it's here if you want it. So with that said, I dig this thing where people could kind of tell me what the fuck they think and let me fucking run my fucking liquor about it. So if this is interesting to you, if you have a question for me, if you're like, oh, how come you do this, you stupid fuck? Why aren't you doing that? Send me an email or fucking leave a comment on this video and I'll fucking do another video about that. But if you want to... Remain more anonymous, send me an email to IHateMattWall at gmail.com and I'll do another fucking video where I fucking yell at you and <laughs> hopefully um, prove my fucking case or whatever. So um, it's all good. It's all fun. Jacob, I'm not pissed off. It's fine. Um, I appreciate that you've been watching me for as long as you have. Um, and um, I hope I get more fucking emails from you. So until next time, everybody, type hard. Keep buying my books. Um, preview of Dangerous Mind out now on Etsy. Links down below. And um, again, the Poetic Anarchy Crash Course free virtual thing um, is Monday, uh, October 17th at 7 p.m. Um, hosted by the Sims Library of Poetry. And you could go to simslibraryofpoetry.org slash events to sign up. It's free, but it's a Zoom thing, so you need to register so that you can get the link sent to you 
when um, the thing goes live. And if you want to do the entire Poetic Anarchy course, um, there's uh, tons of content on there. There's like 60 videos um, as of the time of me doing this video. And if you want to get the beta test price, you have to sign up before November 1st, okay? Um, after November 1st, the price is going up and um, there will be a lot more stuff like that to come. So with that said, everybody, again, I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.